Top 10 Most Watched Anime Series Who gets to choose which anime series are the best of all time? Me? You? On the other hand, one's own preferences may be at play. There is a lot to think about while compiling a list of this nature. Such as whether or not the most significant anime series merits a separate spot at the top or whether or not quality should take precedence over fan favorites. Dragon Ball Z and similar shows may have been an unwitting entry point for many viewers new to anime. All through the 90s, the show enjoyed massive rating success. Yet it's possible that many of those viewers weren't actually converted into die-hard genre enthusiasts. This could have been my life story as well. Here are the top 10 most watched anime. 10. Re Zero Minus Starting Life in Another World Re Zero starts out simple, but time travel, complicated characters, and iconic villains soon follow. The story is non-linear, therefore resetting a time loop may not take you back. Tape Nagatsuki's light novels inspired the anime. Subaru Natsuki, our protagonist, meets Emilia by chance and enters Ice Guy's kingdom of Lugnica. Subaru is a hikikomori, a Japanese term for an extreme loner who actively seeks social isolation and confinement given his infrequent outings. Subaru, an anime fan, predicts everything that will happen around him, causing many hilarious catastrophes. Unfortunately for him, this doesn't happen. 9. Death Note after discovering a notebook that kills anybody whose name is inscribed in it, smart, dedicated, and gifted high school student Light Yagami becomes the series' protagonist. Light wants to use the death note to eliminate criminals and evil people. The book corrupts him despite his initial fairness. His murders don't go unnoticed, and the public quickly starts calling him Kira, after the entity they believe is responsible, even though the purpose is to identify Kira. Death Note was adapted from 2003 to 2006 manga. Mystery, horror, and psychological thriller elements contribute to the show's popularity. Japanese and others adore it. The story is told in less than 40 episodes, preventing it from meandering. 8. Naruto Naruto Shippuden ran from 2007 to 2017, whereas Naruto ran from 2002 to 2007. Masashi Kishimoto's 1999 weekly shonen jump manga inspired the show. In Shinobi, Naruto Uzumaki trains with his friends and other masters to become a ninja. Ninja tactics use chakra energy. Naruto's looks, namely his yellow hair, sets him apart. His scars are obvious because a powerful demon is imprisoned in him. Naruto was born a Jinchuriki, a human sacrifice, to save the world from the Nine Tails. Naruto befriends Sasuke Uchiha, who has a sad history, and Sakura Haruno, a ninja Hermione with pink hair. Students think Sasuke is a genius because he pours his rage into his work. He swore revenge after his brother killed his tribe save for himself. He seeks to become his ninja tribe's Hokage in the program. Sakura brings the group humor and realism despite her gentleness and lack of life experience. 7. Rurani Kenshin, Wandering Samurai Rurani Kenshin's swordsman protagonist is fleeing his tragic past. Haidokiri Batasai, a Bakamatsu assassin, is now Himura Kenshin to erase his history. Himura is now a Rurani, a Ronin, a nomadic and masterless warrior. Himura swears never to kill, but he must fight for his hometown. It shows Meiji-era Japanese life. He found a faltering martial arts school and helped. The show covers a multitude of topics, but it always emphasizes ego control and helping others. The anime series has thrilling plot twists and beautiful art. It's an amazing story. 6. Ghost in the Shell Near the future, Japan sees Major Motoko Kuzanagi, or just Major, and her team of officers from Public Security Section 9 combating widespread crime. However, Kuzanagi is no ordinary police officer. She is a cyborg and a capable commander who employs her sharp mind and cybernetic modifications to apprehend and punish offenders. Since cybernetics have replaced every part of her body, she often wonders if her spirit is still alive or if she is nothing more than a ghost in a mechanical body. 
Kuzanagi believes that she was never human and that she was synthetically produced to fit her purpose because of the lack of information regarding her childhood. In the year 2030, when Ghost in the Shell is set, technological advancements have made it possible for humans to become cyborgs with enhanced powers to further the development of society. Japan's crime syndicates, however, have begun using this. 5. Stein's Gate Multiple websites list Stein's Gate as one of the top 10 anime series of all time. In my opinion, this isn't the only reason it should be considered for inclusion on my list. It has one of the best science fiction and time travel concepts. Akihabara is a popular district in Tokyo where the show is set. Student Rintaro Okabe discovers time travel and, along with his co-workers at Future Gadget Laboratory, tries to stop an evil organization from carrying out its intentions. Whether you know him as Okarin, his preferred name, or Hoen Kuma, Rintaro is always willing to help a stranger in need, despite the fact that he exhibits all the melodramatics, idiosyncrasies, and social ineptitude typical of a mad scientist. His honesty makes him vulnerable to manipulation. You'll want to watch each new episode because of all the unexpected turns the story takes. 4. Full Metal Alchemist The anime is broken up into two seasons, Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Both shows are based on the same manga, which they adapt rather faithfully at the outset. However, the former came to an end before the manga series did, much like Game of Thrones. As the title suggests, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is based on the entire concluded manga. Two boys suffer terrible injuries after an alchemical attempt to bring back their mother from the dead goes horribly wrong. Edward loses an arm, but Alphonse, his younger brother, transforms into a suit of metal armor and escapes certain death. It's not all serious for the Elric brothers as they traverse the world together, with the full metal alchemist's renown rapidly spreading. Ironically, Edward is the real full metal alchemist, but Alphonse usually gets the credit due to his entirely metal body. Raising the dead is a major no-no in alchemy, and the outcomes show why. The group decided to try to make amends by seeking out the Philosopher's Stone. 3. Samurai Champloo Fukasami, a young waitress at a tea house, saves two skilled swordsmen, Mugen and Jean, from Japanese police custody after their fight accidentally kills the son of the local magistrate. It was because of Fu's help that the mother and boy were spared the son's harassment. The real adventure begins when she recruits the two to travel with her across Japan in search of the samurai with the scent of sunflowers. Fukasami is an exceptionally polite and intelligent young lady. She has a tendency to get herself lost or injured in bizarre ways, but is otherwise a highly sensitive person. Her new bodyguards are afraid of looking foolish in front of her, so they treat her like an older sibling. Master Swordsman Mugen is known for his unpredictable and carefree demeanor in battle. Mugen is a bit of an anti-hero. He's brash, volatile, and erratic, and he enjoys picking fights and causing trouble for his pals. His rivalry with Jean and love of gambling are two of the things that keep him battling alongside Jean. Jean takes Kenjutsu training far more seriously than his counterpart. After killing his master in self-defense, he was forced to flee. Jean is almost the antithesis of Mugen. He maintains his composure and cool demeanor in any given situation. However, he comes out as a bit stoic. Jin's belief that there is no honor in serving a cruel ruler serves as a guiding principle for him as he battles those who would use their abilities to oppress others. 2. Darker Than Black Heaven's Gate is a weird anomaly that arose 10 years ago over much of South America. Almost immediately after, Tokyo was hit by another one of these, dubbed Hell's Gate, which messed with the weather and caused widespread destruction. Due to this, real stars were replaced with artificial ones in the night sky. A person with particular skills, or a contractor, is associated with each of these phony stars. Multiple countries have tracked down and trained these contractors to operate as spies and assassins on their behalf. However, they have to pay the price every time they utilize their powers, which might manifest as binge eating, self-harm, physical transformations, and other undesirable behaviors. 
With these newfound abilities, however, they sacrifice their humanity, resorting to murder in pursuit of their aims and justifications and repressing the feelings and other aspects of their humanity that stand in the way of their progress. One of my favorite anime shows is Darker Than Black. Somewhat surprisingly, despite its widespread acclaim, it is rarely featured on top 10 or best of lists. In my opinion, the program is great, but it takes at least two viewings of the entire series to fully get all of the nuances and hidden meanings. The series only has a few episodes, but it's not for the faint of heart, especially if you're just getting into anime. Despite the contractor's seeming lack of compassion, the protagonist, Hei, is a tiny contrast to this, fighting against other contractors via a group known as the Syndicate. 1. Attack on Titan Only Attack on Titan is airing. Based on a 2009 manga, the show premiered in 2013. Eight-year-old show's final season. It ends next month. The tale begins on parody, where the locals have built vast defenses against the mindless giants. The story begins with two giants breaching the walls and starting a 13-year war. Aaron Yeager and his best friend Mikasa Ackerman join the Survey Corps to avenge the Titans' devastation of their home and the loss of Aaron's mother. Even if the Titans seem easy to defeat, there is much to find outside the walls. Though he begins relatively unskilled, Aaron is pushed by his intense hatred of the Titans. Aaron adopted Mikasa as a child from human traffickers. Her past is dismal. Mikasa, one of the quietest and most shy recruits in her class, became a notable Survey Corps member. Armin Arlert, the third member of their mysterious duo, is a clever young man who, in comparison to his two boyhood companions, is more of a pushover. So which one are you going to watch? Tell us in the comments and make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.